Hello, my name is Kristen Morrow, and I'm a registered dietitian nutritionist for Doylestown Health. Today, I'm here to talk about how to flavor your food without adding salt so that you can help yourself have good blood pressure. High blood pressure puts you at risk for heart disease, stroke, and kidney disease. There are many risk factors that can lead to high blood pressure. Eating a diet high in salt and sugar are two ways. So are eating saturated fats like those found in animal foods such as butter, cheese, bacon, or trans fats like hydrogenated oils. If you eat these processed foods often, you are likely not getting foods high in omega-3 fatty acids or fats like plant fats, dietary fiber, like in fruits and vegetables. If you have a family history of high cholesterol, are older than 55, have gained weight in the midsection or around the stomach, are not very active, you have a greater risk for developing high blood pressure. Unfortunately, high blood pressure often goes untreated. One third of people who have untreated high blood pressure are likely to die from a stroke, and one half of people who have untreated high blood pressure are likely to die from heart disease. If we break down salt, salt is made of sodium and chloride. It is the sodium part that can raise blood pressure. It causes the body to retain more fluid this can put a big burden on the heart, the kidneys, and the blood vessels. As a result, the recommendation for sodium consumption for a typical day is just between 1,500 milligrams and 2,300 milligrams. This is about two-thirds of a teaspoon to one full teaspoon of table salt per day, including salt added from a salt shaker as well as the sodium already found in natural or packaged foods. Sodium is found in our food in many forms. Most of it, about 75%, comes from packaged and processed foods and found in foods we eat from restaurants. A small amount of it is added in home cooking, while people who add salt at the table make up about 8% of the sodium sources and some foods naturally contain a little bit of sodium as well. Most of the sodium we eat comes from packaged and processed foods and food from restaurants. Watch out for snack foods like chips, pretzels, and crackers. Also frozen and rotisserie chicken, pizza and restaurants or frozen pasta dishes that contain a lot of cheese. Try to avoid canned soups and processed breakfast meats, hot dogs, sausages, and luncheon meats. These are responsible for most of the sodium in our food supply. There are ways to fight high blood pressure with diet, but it does mean you need to look for ways to lower sodium intake. One strategy is the DASH diet. DASH is an acronym. It stands for Dietary Approaches to Stop Hypertension. This is a pattern that limits added salt and suggests eating more fruits, vegetables, low-fat or fat-free dairy products such as milk or yogurt. These food choices are good sources of potassium, calcium, magnesium, and fiber, which are helpful to promote good blood pressure. The DASH diet includes foods that have magnesium, potassium, and calcium, including fruits and vegetables, nuts, and low-fat or fat-free milk or yogurt. There is little to no red meat suggested on the DASH diet, and the preferred protein food is skinless poultry or fish. It turns out that there are a number of foods that have all three of these important minerals for good blood pressure magnesium, potassium, and calcium, green leafy vegetables, low-fat or fat-free milk or yogurt, 
and almonds are all good sources of magnesium, potassium, and calcium. Here are some easy ways to add fruits and vegetables to your diet. Eating a healthy diet with many fruits and vegetables will help you get the potassium, magnesium, and calcium, also fiber, that help with good blood pressure. Add strawberries or banana to peanut butter sandwiches instead of jelly. Add berries, mango slivers, grapes, or oranges to flavor salads. Try using shredded carrots or crunchy cabbage in soups as garnish. Try avocado mash as a spread instead of mayonnaise or to mix in salmon salad. Add apples and cinnamon to your oatmeal instead of sugar. Try vegetables on top of your pizza instead of traditional high fat, high salt toppings like sausage or pepperoni. We can also change some of the ways we cook to help lower the sodium content of our foods. For example, try plain rice, couscous, or quinoa as a side dish, but use low sodium chicken broth and herbs instead of the salty seasoning packet often found in box mixes. Buy low sodium canned beans in place of regular beans and rinse them before using. Since cheese is a very high sodium food, replace cheese on your sandwiches with lettuce and tomato, and choose homemade baked chicken breast in place of rotisserie or frozen breaded cutlets. Since salt provides added flavor to foods, if you want to try to avoid it, it's helpful to add some herbs and spices to provide flavor. If you're looking for a rich taste, replace salted butter with basil, oregano, sesame seeds, or thyme. For a savory flavor, try seasoning with black pepper, cumin, garlic, fennel, rosemary, or turmeric. If you're not very confident using herbs and spices for flavoring in place of salt, try to follow recipes, at least at first. Add herbs and spices sparingly in the beginning as well so that you can change the intensity of the flavor. Look for the ingredients to provide flavor from your favorite ethnic cuisines. Add dry herbs and spices in the beginning of cooking because they are fairly hearty and can withstand the length of cooking time but definitely add fresh herbs at the end of cooking because they are more delicate and will be destroyed if left cooking for a long time. There are many seasoning alternatives if you're looking for something more convenient. Look in the store for Mrs. Dash products or Flavor God products. They offer a lot of flavor without the salt. If you're looking for some specific ethnic flavors without the high salt content of takeout and restaurant foods, you may want to use these herbs and spices when cooking at home. Middle Eastern cuisine often uses allspice, oregano, mint, sesame seeds, dill, and cilantro. Chinese cuisine often offers seasonings like ginger, garlic, and red pepper flakes. If you love Mexican, try using chili peppers, oregano, cumin, and cilantro. And when making your favorite Italian dishes, use plenty of garlic, basil, oregano, rosemary, and maybe even a hint of nutmeg. I hope that you have picked up a few good tips to help manage your blood pressure by cutting back on salt and adding some helpful foods, including fruits, vegetables, low fat milk or fat-free yogurt, herbs, and spices. Please contact us at Doylestown Health Nutrition Counseling Office at 215-345-2168 for more information or to schedule a nutrition counseling appointment. Thank you for joining me.